subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are back at the Posh Goodwill located on Lower Westheimer Road in Houston. It is near the River Oaks neighborhood where the rich and famous live in luxury mansions. Let's go on inside and see what they've got for us today. Join me. Welcome to the Goodwill on Lower Westheimer in the River Oaks area. We found some great deals here in the past. I'm anxious to take you inside and navigate those aisles together. It is a very popular store and I'm sure we'll find some crowds. Let's go inside. It's great to be back at this Goodwill store. And I will tell you they are busy today. It's hard to move around the store. I will do my very best to share some deals with you. And of course, we wanna look for that color of the day and you maximize your savings Wednesday through Saturday, 50% off any blue tagged items. First stop is Treasure Island. This is where they have identified the most valuable pieces that are behind the case here. And I see lots of glass, crystal, new in box items. And there are also hidden gems you can find here. And because we can't access everything, you may not be able to move things around to see, but you can certainly crouch down and find a piece of Waterford crystal. This is part of their Westover desk collection that came out in the late 90s. That is a memo pad holder. I have one of these and the matching Westover business card holder. And they do know that it's Waterford Crystal, $29.99. It's still a fair price. I believe this debuted at $79. The gothic style waterford acid etched logo and that dates it which means that it is a quality piece and of course you could buy paper to fill in that or use it for something different it is a really nice piece i see this in antique stores from time to time and i wonder what else we could do with this i'm sure you've got some good ideas to hold lipstick just about anything nice accessory and there's some bohemian crystal here. I can tell that it's European by the style. I think it's a bit high, $49.99. At half price, I might consider it. I like that you have two pieces. That means you've got two great gifts. And you'll notice that edging is very unique. So it's probably worth maybe $25, Bohemia Czech Republic which dates it as well. You know that that is a newer piece. It is quite nice, but I will pass on this. And I'm also noticing Waterford in the marquee version. This is another line that they launched in 1994 when I was with Waterford Crystal. Originally it was made by the Nachtmann factory in Germany. This ornament is well-priced, $7.99 for the snowflake. I'm thinking about this, but I end up passing because I do have a lot of Waterford ornaments. That would make a nice gift. I love snowflakes. And you could hang that from a chandelier. It doesn't have to just be on your Christmas tree. They have some great finds at Treasure Island. This is a marquee by Waterford snowflake ornament. Let me take this off so you can see it. It's got a nice gold tassel. It's from 2013. Isn't it beautiful? Definitely a beautiful piece. That could even be a gift tie if you were creative. And I think the best find of the day is hidden underneath a piece of Mikasa. You can see the brilliance in that crystal. And that's why you have that bottom shelf advantage. In this case, I think that it has been missed. And there's a reason that they couldn't place that on top of the other piece because it weighs a whopping 13 pounds. 
Absolutely a stunning piece. I was so overwhelmed with a busy store, I did not take this home. And I think maybe I regret that now. Isn't it gorgeous? What's interesting is that it is a different color crystal than Waterford. A great find at Treasure Island, this Orifer's Zodiac Bowl is priced at $49.99. Bowls this size on the Orifer's website sell for about $200, but this one has a lot more crystal. I would price it between $300 and $400. It is retired, and Orifer's Swedish crystal is always a good idea. Always delighted to find Villorian Bach when I'm out Goodwill shopping. Even though it is upside down, it's a very familiar pattern. And it reminds me of my husband's home state of Germany with that landscape. And no surprise, Villor und Boch is based in Medlach, Germany, also in the Saarland. We will want to turn that over and look at the back stamp. Indeed, it is V&B. The pattern is design naive. I would probably wait for red to be the color of the week. $29.99 is more than I would want to spend, but if it is your pattern, then it would certainly be worth it. They have some handbags and designer shoes. And you will notice they do not place the pair on the shelf. They have a single shoe for each style, and that is to prevent theft. They also have Coach, Michael Kors, lots of folks shopping for fashion today. And here's a unique gift, a fountain pen. You could even upcycle that paper, create gift tags with it. I do like clever packaging. New in box is always a good idea. And this is one that the lady recommended she has shared with other customers now let's take a look in the store it's hard to make it past treasure island but there is more to discover and blue and white always something that's on my list looks like a courier and ives design didn't see a back stamp i do like those Cups and saucers, sugar and creamery can't go wrong. It'll be a sweet set. I'm pleased to introduce you to a savvy shopper. He is sharing his finds today and will tell us more about the brands and what they go for in the secondary market. He is a reseller and very much an enthusiast for fashion. I love this hat. He's going to tell us all about it. A brand that I was not familiar with, Bailey of Hollywood. Let's have a look. I met a very smart shopper at this Goodwill store. Noy is going to show us some of the deals he has in his cart. Yes, I have a Kavi 23. This is Jersey James. It's uh, it's retail like about 90 bucks. It's like 6.99. Okay, that's a great deal. Very phenomenal. And then I find this is my my hat. I take it off. Excuse me, I'm a little bald, but this is Bailey. Bailey is about two hundred dollars XL, but you can resell it for like, like a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Just let it go. What is the price today, Noi? Uh, the price today is four ninety nine. You can't beat it. Phenomenal. It's a great deal. And and the jeans is is called Joe. J J O E apostrophe S. Joe's at Nemes Markers is retail about. 199 150 up to 250 joes so uh, for the price 699 phenomenal deals and that's why we shop the river oaks oh the yes country. river oak districts and this is another joe different fashion different taste but it's phenomenal size 30 31 i buy them all day long grab them while you can come to uh good uh river oaks districts goodwill that's great thanks for yes. sharing all your finds also, today the shoes is phenomenal. This is from Italy. It's called Bergana Crawford in Italy. It's a slipper. Phenomenal. It's, it just needs a little bit of touch up if you're a craft person. So, you know, you just uh, polish yourself. For the price, it's $12.99. Can't beat it. It's like 250 bucks shoes. You found a perfect pair. Yep. 
That's it. Okay. Are thank you. you no first? Worries. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was an honor. It's a pleasure. Thank you. He has also found some rain boots. I did look these up online and they sell for about $50. Plan one original. These look like they've barely been used. And one of his best finds of the day, surprisingly not fashion. Instead, it's an electronic that he found at Treasure Island. And he is delighted to share with you today the Apple TV, $14.99. And he said it looks to be in complete, perfect shape goes for about $130. That is indeed a great find. I'm glad that he shared all these items with us today. I like to learn from others when I'm shopping Goodwill and especially like to see what they have in their carts. And let's talk about cake, my favorite topic. And here's a great way to display that. And of course, you could use this for so many different purposes. Everyone should have a beautiful cake dome. Perfect for pastries. A covered cake stand is party perfect. Look at all of that detail here. That's something you don't always see when you shop at a box store. This is $19.99 and would be a wonderful addition to your celebrations. Remember to lift things up when you're at a Goodwill store. They might have plates stacked on top of something fantastic. And this beautiful cardinal, you wouldn't expect to be a top brand, $7.99. And of course, the cardinal is a sign of devotion. Great item to have in your home. It is made by Gorham, representing the American Preservation Guild. Isn't that a fantastic piece and limited edition? Party Perfect Punch Bowl. This is great for filling with tortilla chips, fruit salad, you could do so much with this. $5.99, it's all purpose, it looks to be anchor hawking. This could be fine china. Look at the gold rim, beautiful floral pattern with that celadon green. Of course, we can look at that back stamp that is a road map to the history of a piece. $24.99 for this set. It's from Noritake in the homage pattern. And I'm excited because this looks like Russian Imperial Lomonosov porcelain. Okay, let's move this plate out of the way. Take a better look. $2.99 on that price tag. And it's empty. That does happen. And this is a beautiful pattern that I recognize, but first let's take a look at this three-part crystal dish. At $2.99, this would be a great gift. That is Eastern European, I can tell by the design and the cuts. I think it's well worth $2.99. And this corning ware is a kitchen essential that probably brings you back to your childhood. It is not Pyrex, but it is that wonderful corning ware. While this Pyrex may not be the rarest pattern made, which is lucky in love, the cornflower blue is very much loved. It was made from 1957 to 1988. Pretty and practical and nostalgic. Priced at $5.99, that's a great price. It's always fun to find something brand new, ready for gifting. Martha Stewart is in the house. Look at this. That would be a good shower gift as well. It's always fun to find something new in a box, especially for gifting. This is a Martha Stewart Collection glass swirl platter. It was created for her Macy's collection. It's now retired. I've seen it for 40 on the secondary market. Of course, brand new in a box. Original packaging is worth even more. This is $19.99 today. Great for charcuterie, for cakes. You could even place this on your coffee table or use as a centerpiece, as a base for your display. Silver plate is versatile. Of course, you can use it for serving. I've also seen these displayed on a wall and black and white photographs placed in the center and also chalk paint and placed on an easel. This one is the Grand Victoria pattern from Wallace. 
Wallace Grand Baroque for $29.99 is a fair price. I do see there's an indent here in the center. Probably would pass on that, unless it's the color of the week. If it's 50% off, I would consider it. There's so many different things you could do with this fantastic piece. And I see something else of interest. My mother purchased this identical bowl at Foley's department store in the 1980s for $50. This is $16.99. She gifted it to my future mother-in-law at that time as a hostess gift from Oneida. It's a beautiful piece in great condition. Picture perfect. So many ways you could use this for $9.99 and it has that built-in ice guard. You could fill it with flowers. And they do have a bit of furniture. And if you're setting up an in-home salon, then this is a great find. And I'm sure someone is happy to have it. It looks like it's sold. Like something from Steel Magnolias. It is priced at $59.99. And if you need extra seating, this would be a great option. The price is right. You could certainly change that upholstery, use chalk paint, and adapt these. More kitchen essentials. And this has a bit of nostalgia for me. It's a brand you probably recognize from the 1970s. I like that buttercup yellow. Ours were actually avocado club. Just love it. And they even have the almond color. If you had these growing up, I would love to hear from you, or perhaps you still use them in your kitchen. 1999. And it has survived all these years. You know, it's of quality. And it says $40. It's probably donated by a store, perhaps an antique shop. Any bit of the Netherlands here with this wooden shoe. Love that blue and white. Could certainly incorporate that into a centerpiece, something interesting, place some silk florals inside. Made in Holland. A single Dutch clog. And it has holes on either side. You could certainly string something through that, a ribbon. Make it interesting. This bowl looks to be from Germany. Perhaps $9.99. I don't see a back stamp. It is very pretty. It would be a fun addition. Some tall candle holders. You just never know what you'll find, and the assortment changes constantly. And I will tell you, people had carts that were overflowing. It's really a reseller's dream. You can find things new in boxes, top brands, and Willow Tree. Collectible Angels. This is the Angel of Harmony. Priced at $19.99, which is a bit high. They're about $30 each, but perhaps it's retired. And if so, if you have a flutist in your family or circle of friends, that would be a great purchase. This vase is interesting. I like the oval shape. I didn't see a back stamp on it. I would definitely wait for that price to go down $16.99. It's a bit high. You also see florist vases. And this green, I especially like. It reminds me of something that you would find at Pottery Barn. It's not the typical florist vase, $5.99. And I would definitely pick this up and fill it with pink roses for a friend's birthday. Great centerpiece idea as well for a party. Let's go cart diving and see what we find. Silver frames. I want to investigate further to see if they might be silver plate or sterling. And we have a vintage ashtray. I thought about picking this up for my friend Adam with Baker's Barware. You can find him on Instagram, but it didn't have a price on it. And just wasn't sure how long it would take them to price it. These you find for about $30 at antique stores. Definitely a vintage piece, mid-century, modern, from the 1960s or 70s. Here's another look at those picture frames. 
I'm thinking they are silver plate. I did not find a sterling mark or 925. But at 399, you can polish these and that would be a great way to display even a menu, not only a photograph. So glad you joined me today for Goodwill shopping. This store never disappoints. We found some top brands, good prices, and met a new friend. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with Goodwill shopping.